Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? It's Catherine Solis Ray. Um, and today I just want to quickly go over getting familiar with your Empower Network toolbar. This is my Empower Network blog. And so welcome. And we're just going to quickly um, go over what's here in this toolbox, right? So of course you have, this is an easy mode, okay? And I'm actually more, for, I actually like standard mode better. And I'm going to actually exit easy mode in a bit. But just quickly, this is to bold any text. So you see how this is bolded? I would just highlight it and bold it here. This is to um, make your, um, this is to make your words italic. So if I want it to be italics, I would just click there. If you want it to be striked out, you would just click here. And if you want to do any bullet points, um, which I actually like bullet points, but I don't think I did any in this um, blog, but you would just use this here. So let's say I had a blog post and I wanted to say, um, let me see, Catherine, Catherine one, and Catherine 2. I know this is really random, but let's say I wanted to bullet point that. I would just highlight it and click there. And boom. Okay? So it's really that easy. If you want to undo anything, this is obviously the undo button. If you want to um, do the same thing but number it, you would just do like the same thing I just did. Right? Whatever you're trying to number, you would just highlight it and click there. Okay, and it'll number it for you, which is pretty awesome. All right, so what else do we have here? So then, of course, we have making things in quotes. So if you see here, if you see here, in order to make this look like this, I put it in quotes. So just quickly, I just want to show you how it looks on the blog post. I'm going to go to the blog post. It takes forever. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hmm. Well, I guess it's going to take forever. <laughs> but yeah, you definitely want to get familiar with this toolbar because um, that's going to allow you to do the little tips and tricks and things that makes your blog post look better. So here we are, and this is how it looks when it's in quotes. It's not that fancy, but it makes it stand out a bit, right? So that's how you do the quotes. All you have to do is highlight what you want to be in quotes and click on the quote icon. Okay. Now, if you want to center something um, or um, left align it or right align it, this is what you would use. This is so similar to Microsoft Word, so don't go too crazy. Now, this is a question that I get a lot: how to make something in, um, how to make it go to a link, right? So let's say I want it this here online entrepreneur to be in um, go to another link I would highlight it click on this icon and then now I can enter a URL so let's say I wanted to I wanted it to go to my Catherine Solis Ray website I would put Catherine Solis Ray dot com and make sure you have HTTP first and then I like to put a title in here um, Catherine's blog. Boom. And there you go. Now that's it. If someone clicks here on my blog post, it'll go to my Catherine Solis Ray blog. All right. Now, um, what's this? I actually don't even know what this is. Oh, okay. So this is basically just going to put in like a line and they'll say read more. Um, let me see. This is your spell checker. Right, if you want to check your spelling, um, distraction free my writing mode. Um, so it'll, it'll look more visual. I'm actually learning a lot of this right now. <laughs> oh gosh, oh, I don't like this, but oh, this is kind of nice. Okay, well, yeah, there you go. I keep it simple, so I'm learning with you right now. All right, exit full screen. Let's exit it out. Okay. All right, so now what else do we need to know, right? Um, Distraction-free writing mode. All right, so if you don't want all this jazz to be here, just click here and you'll hide some of it. Now, this here just kind of changes the font. So let's say you see how I have this big heading here. The way I did that was by highlighting it and making it heading 2. You can do heading 1 
um, you can change it to whatever one of these fonts. And if you want to know how I get um, this highlighted, I use a website called, I'm going to tell you the website right now. Um, ooh, I like this website because it's pretty cool. Um, it's pageresource.com forward slash dhtml forward slash cssttut9 dot html. I mean htm. <laughs> okay. Um, when you go to that site, there's a whole bunch of html codes that you can use if you want to do um, some cool stuff with your blog post. And don't use it too much because it may take you some time, but if you want to do... Um, like highlight this I usually do yellow but I decided to do pink just to be a little different and my computer is acting slow so we'll just wait um, but once you have the code all you would do is go to your text section this is what the text section looks like it's really ugly but when you look at it on the visual it looks flawless right so um, this is the website with you where you can get all the HTML codes um, I'm not sure why it's so slow, but here we are. Okay, so you see, this is the code for it. All right, what you would do is just copy this, this whole thing, and then, ooh, oh my gosh. Yeah, you would just copy this whole thing, and you would just paste it into your text section, and you would put whatever it is that you want to highlight. So, for example, if I paste it in here, where it says my background is yellow, that's where you would write what you want. So, hey there, team. Haha. <laughs> All right. Now let's go to visual. Bam. There it is. All right. So, what else? Oh, and I made it pink by just instead of yellow, I just put in pink. I put in pink here. Okay. Um, I just want to see how it looks with green. I mean blue. No, I like blue. I like blue better. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, so you can play around with codes, but I don't recommend getting too much into it for it's not that serious. So, now, what else do we have here? Um, okay, so of course, if you want to underline text, you would just highlight it, underline it, and you're good to go. Um, if you want it to be aligned full, um, you would just click here, and it'll really align it really like a, a rectangle, kind of. Um, next, what's up? All right, if you want to change the text color, so if I wanted MAC Lipstick Collection to be in a bright green, which I wouldn't do that, but just for example, there you go. And if you want to paste, excuse me, if you want to paste as plain text, which I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know what that means. Oh, wait, I do know what it means. If you don't want it to have any format when you paste it, um... Let's say if you write your blog post in, wrote in Word, you can paste it onto there, okay? And if you don't want any of the format from Word to be there, then you paste it as a text, but it's taking forever, so let's move on. And if you want to paste directly from Microsoft Word, you can use this to do so. You would just click there, and then there would be something that comes up in order for you to paste it in, okay? And right now, my it's my laptop acting a bit behind time, so we'll let it rock, though. All right, so um, remove formatting, right? If you if you paste it and you don't want it to be formatted the way you took it, you know, you probably won't need any of these things. Insert custom character. Oh, my gosh, I don't believe any of this stuff is working for me, but I hope it does eventually. But what it is is just like little symbols, like the copyright symbol, um, a whole bunch of symbols that if you want to use, you just go here. All right. If you want to indent, let's say you have a paragraph, you want to be a little fancy, or um, wait, why well, it's not working? You want to indent your paragraph. Um, that's what you can use. Okay. Or if you have like um, see there you go. If you have like, yeah. Okay. Let me keep it simple. Okay. If you want to undo something, you just click undo. If you want to redo something, you redo it. Um, and of course, if you need help, I mean, before you go running around like a hellish chicken just click on help all right and i'm going to exit the easy mode real quick so you can just kind of get a taste of how standard mode looks if you haven't changed your block to standard mode all right i'm going to actually going to keep this open cuz i'm going to give you guys this link um in the video description guys my computer well this is my laptop 
obviously as you can see it kind of sucks my school gave it to me it's from my um oh no we're over 10 minutes this this laptop my school gives it to me for free so let me not complain let me be grateful um okay i kind of give up but exiting out of easy mode will give you standard mode standard mode is supposedly be supposedly supposed to look um less you know less intimidating but i think it's the same thing you know i think it's the same thing definitely try to get out your comfort zone and use the standard mode it's not you know it's not much of a a big thing all right so there you go guys i hope you're able to now um be able to use your toolbar a bit more efficiently and i'll talk to you guys later if you guys have any questions you guys can comment on this video and you can even facebook message me since you guys know i just love facebook and you can email me or call me or text me um preferably just you know just facebook message me but yeah all right so I'll talk to you guys later again this is Catherine Solis Ray make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll talk to you guys later